Zach Russian just told a black man that he doesn't celebrate Black History Month and he was livid. Let me tell y'all a little story about how I almost got my ass whooped by a black man during Black History Month. But by the end of the conversation, he was hugging me and telling me, thank you for thinking the way that I think. Mm. I got a call last night from a buddy of mine, black buddy of mine, same guy that asked me to go to the black cookout. He said, hey man, that. how you doing? I said, good man, been a long time. He said, I know it. He said, hey look, I need a favor. I said, all right buddy, what you got? He said, man, inner city baseball league's about to start back up. And because of everything going on and them having basically the whole world shut down, we have had zero time to do any kind of fundraising for the for the inner city baseball league. Would you consider sponsoring a team? I said, hell yeah, I'll sponsor a team. I'm all about youth sports, 100%. Okay. I said, I'm down like four flats. He said, are you really? I said, on absolutely. On the lack. He forgot to say on the lack after that. I'm down like four flats. On he the said, lack. are you really? I said, absolutely. I said, uh, can you meet me at the gas station in 20 minutes? I'll cut you a check. He said, yeah, buddy, I'll meet you there. So I grabbed my checkbook and like a bat out of hell, I headed to the gas station. Now I'm sitting there waiting and my buddy pulls up and recognized his car. And buddy gets out and an older gentleman gets out, an older black man. He introduces me and it just so happens to be that that older black man is the head guy in charge for the inner city baseball league. And he brought him to tell me thank you, which was completely unnecessary, but I really did appreciate it. Okay. Now, the older man had seen my black cookout video and he was just jokingly asking me, he said, hey buddy, you going to another black cookout for black history month? And before I could even answer, my buddy turned to him and said, Zach doesn't celebrate Black History Month. The amount of rage that come over this man's face <laughs> was absolutely, it, it was ungodly. Mm. But I had already had this conversation with my buddy years ago and got him to understand why I don't celebrate Black History Month. And he was thanked. The old man looked at me and he said, you don't celebrate Black History Month? I said, no, sir. <laughs> you don't celebrate Black History Month? A year ago, hearing him say this, I would have been, what? Do you care to like elaborate why? I said, absolutely. And I looked at him, I said, sir, I have absolutely no idea what it's like to walk around in America as a black man. I have absolutely no idea what it's like to be judged by the color of my skin in today's day and time. I have absolutely no idea what it is like to have a complete history of absolute hatred bestowed upon me simply because of the color of my skin. Hmm. For me to celebrate Black History Month is an okay. insult to you. Okay. You don't celebrate a team's win if you're not on that team. What you can do as a decent person is you can honor their win. You can respect their win. And you can be happy for them that they won. For having to overcome ungodly obstacles for the simple fact of just being looked at as a normal human being. And then he, he just kind of looked at me. He was kind of taken back by the whole ordeal. I told him, I said, sir, for me to sit there and tell you openly that I celebrate Black History Month is an insult to your entire record. What I can assure you is that I am in full support of it. I honor it. And I respect it to the highest power. And I told him, I said, because buddy, when we all get to them pearly gates up there, the man upstairs doesn't care about color. He cares about decency. That's true. I told him, I said, do you really think if I had any kind of hate in me at all, that I would be down here cutting you a check for a league that interacts inner city black and white kids together. I would not be here. He said, no, you a have point. a point. I said, I, that's right. I have a point for the fact that I don't see color. Just because I'm a redneck, talk with a draw and spit tobacco doesn't mean that I'm holding on to the old ways. And believe it or not, contrary to most people's popular belief, there is the majority of rednecks out there who do not think that way. There is pre-justices given to rednecks the same way there is pre-justices given to black men and women. He just, he's kind of taken back at this point. He kind of steps back and he's, yeah, you can tell he's thinking real hard. Like this white man. Was he trying to say prejudices? He's, yeah, you can tell he's thinking real hard. Like this white man is basically telling me right now that he doesn't celebrate black history month, but I can't argue with why he doesn't. He looked at me, he says, so basically you're telling me. That you don't celebrate Black History Month because you don't have the right to. I said, you're exactly right, sir. He said, do you think there's some more of you out there? I said, buddy, I got a company called Bass Bucks. Some more of you. He said, yeah, I know about it. I said, you're writing a check from. I said, yeah, absolutely. I said, there, my, my Facebook page is predominantly rednecks because that's all I talk about is hunting, fishing, and stuff like that. He said, yeah. I said, I guarantee you if I do a fundraiser for the inner city baseball leagues to help out the children to make sure that they're able to play this year, regardless of what color they are, you will see more support than you've ever seen in your whole life. He said, do you really think that? I said, I don't just think that, sir. I know that. He said, would you do that? I said, I'll do it. I'll do it tomorrow morning. So like I said, from Bass Bucks and Birds, which is my outdoor company, which is probably predominantly white, any subscription box that is bought from my company for this month, the proceeds are going to the inner city kids. I'm going to show them 
Not just tell them. I'm going to show them that there is decent people out there regardless of the color of their skin and regardless if they talk with a draw. That's a good sentiment. I am not only going to express to him the fact that I'm that way. I'm going to prove to him that the old days and the hatred that people think that they're holding on to and this, that, and the other is gone. And if you're one of them idiots that holds on to that kind of hatred, you have absolutely no business at all on my page. Respect. At all. Like I was talking about the preconceptions and stuff, just because I'm a redneck, I'm the opposite of racist. I'm well known for going to my first black cookout, which I was shown more respect there than I ever have in my life. And I will continue throughout my life to match that respect in every way, shape, and form. So if you want to be a part of it, and you want a subscription box from me, go to the link in the description and buy a subscription box because I'm fitting to support that whole league. And I told him, I said, I do honestly believe that the amount of people on my page and the amount of people that have let go of the hate and has finally accepted the fact that we are all God's children, I can get you enough support to fund this whole league. So if you want to be a part of it, click the, click the link in the description. And if you're one of the people that's holding on to hate, Hit that unfollow button because you got no business at all on my... I love everybody, and that's always going to be the case. She. <laughs> it was the she. Oh, man, it's a whole lot. Let's dive into it, though. And before I do that, I got to say, it's my birthday. The big three, two. I'm going to look back on this video 30 years from now like, oh, man, I was only 32. And also, it's Father's Day. I got to say happy Father's Day to all my kings out there in the kingdom. Salute. Now, I must say, this man is a great storyteller and always have been. I was introduced to him from the barbecue cookout. Story. People like him definitely give you hope for hum humanity, although I definitely share a different perspective. I can definitely respect this guy for sure. I feel like he really been genuine. But hey, look, I get it. But hear me out. I'm just kind of tired of seeing people, white people, and others outside of black having to prove that there are still good people that exist. It just kind of grows tiring. And as a black man, I'm not in no way, shape, or form adopting the notion that as black people, we haven't had to overcome obstacles. We definitely have. And as I watch this, you would think that it's, I would like to think that it's helping people wake up and maybe heal some media <laughs> wounds and scars and help bring us all closer together as a tribe that we really are. But my take is, I think every person is unique and the color of their skin holds no more significance than the color of our hair or our eye color. Now. Our inherent worth and character should not be reduced to superficial physical traits. And even in his video, he made it clear that, I mean, look, when we get to heaven, you think God really gonna be focused on the color? So for me, when he said he didn't celebrate Black History Month, I wouldn't have been alarmed personally. Thanks to y'all and team think for y'all been me alone this journey of knowledge. I'm black and I don't celebrate Black History Month, but it all started with this clip from Morgan Freeman. I'll explain why after you watch this. Roll it. Black History Month you find ridiculous. What? You're gonna relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is Life History Month? <laughs> no, well, no, 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 come on, tell me. Come uh, on. Uh, I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month Jewish. is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Yeah. Well, you want one? No, 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 I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a black history. Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? Until... Stop talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. You know... Which goes back to what I said earlier about us all being unique and how we shouldn't be reduced to superficial traits. Stop talking about it. We all have a name. It's pretty much what he was saying. I'm not saying that black history shouldn't be taught. It should. But we should also understand that American history needs to be taught equally but truthfully if we're only going to be talking about black history in America. If we don't do that, it only continue to focus on these vague stereotypes and the whole CRT idea. CTR. My bad. Makes me think of a line in Tom McDonald's song, Castles, when he said, we all travel different roads, we all put on different clothes, but underneath it, we all really are just the same. When I first watched this clip, it made me go do more research because I understood that Morgan Freeman possesses a deeper understanding on this whole racial phenomenon, which places him ahead of many others. The underlying message behind this stand, stop talking about it, goes beyond simply ignoring or dismissing the issue it emphasizes the importance of recognizing that racism as a societal and cultural construct diminishes when we perceive all individuals as evil. this understanding is the initial steps towards truly comprehending the significance of stop talking about it